Our viewers continue to post lots of memories on social media after hearing the news that Indiana Beach is closing. Our Dustin Grove went to Monticello today to learn what this loss means for that small community. In Monticello, it's front page news. I was kind of heartbroken to, to kind of hear it. And talk of the town. Because it has been here for so long. 94 years is a huge thing. After 94 years, Indiana Beach, the amusement park that's drawn hundreds of thousands here to ride rides and dine and shop too, is closed for good. It's going to be greatly missed. County leaders told us the company blames it on financial reasons and said it couldn't find a buyer. Come up see the last Indiana Beach for the last time. For Carol Wheeler, a sentimental loss. This year would have made 50 years for us. And my mom started coming up here in 1960 with her sisters and stuff. She and her son drove up from Cincinnati to take one last picture and say goodbye. We've been five generations coming here. Yeah, it's a shame. A shame for her and a concern for some locals. Everything in this city really was a, was a result of the success of Indiana Beach, you know. Uh, a lot of these places wouldn't be in business today. Concern about the future. It's uh, going to be devastating. All the, the uh, mom and pop resort areas, you know, the uh, lodging and all that, all the restaurants. Obviously, something needs to happen with that property. Terry Raines owns a tackle shop nearby. Whether it be the beach itself or another business venture. You're hopeful. I am. Have to be. <laughs> I'm a business owner, I love what I do. I wanna see this town still thrive and I think that it will. So what happens next year? Will these rides really be taken apart or sold or is there some sort of buyer, some last minute buyer that could come through here and save this place as an amusement park? Nobody from the company is talking so far. If we've reached out to them, we'll let you know if we hear back. In Monticello, Dustin Grove, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Well, since Dustin filed that story, Indiana Beach has now posted a statement on its website saying it regrets having to close. Several of our viewers have reached out to us asking about passes they've already purchased for the upcoming season. You can fill out a form on their website. In fact, we've linked it to you on this story on WTHR.com. And Angela grew up in the Lafayette yes. area. It was your early childhood, mm -hmm. and you have a lot of memories there with your family. Yes, a neighbor had a boat. I'm quite sure I learned to ski. My, la my husband laughs at me saying I water ski, but I do. Yeah, I don't do it very often. <laughs> two skis or slalom? Oh, two. two. I never hey, did learn to slalom. Skiing. Yeah, there yeah. Ski, so either uh, Schaefer or uh, I, I'm not like sure. Freeman. Freeman, maybe? one of those up there I'm sure I learned. Yeah, oh, yeah it was kind of sad. A lot of right? memories yeah. for a lot of people. And almost 100 years of memories. I know. That's right. Wow.